Welcome back to RimWorld. So, since last time, um, I feel like I should probably just point this out quickly before someone else points it out. I've got uh, the time mod turned back on the speed mod just for my single player playthrough where I'm basically starting a fresh colony and learning some of the more intricate cult mechanics so I don't have to sort of bumble around this so much. So, I've learned a little bit about how the sacrificing mechanics work and how the worship mechanics work as well. So, I've got a little bit more of a grip on that. Not completely up to date though, so I still need to do a bit, bit more experimenting in single player just so I can fully learn all the mechanics. But hopefully, it will make that, because of that, it will make this series a lot more um, coherent, straightforward. I'll actually know what I'm doing for a change, which is uh, unique for this channel, I know. So, last episode, we were attacked by a raid led by the Ever Queen, who is now headless in our freezer, Frozen. What we're going to do is, uh, one of you in the comments had the most incredible suggestion. What we're going to do is we're going to take the Ever Queen, we're going to take a Deep One, or some other Cthulhu-based horror, and uh, we're going to breed them together, and then we're going to produce a clone army of the Ever Queen, and we'll send them out into the world and destroy all of the agencies um, in order to assure that our, our cult will survive. Now, not only that, but I've also read some of your other comments, as I want to do. I do that every episode, so if you've got anything useful to say... Feel free, I always read them all. Um, one of your comments said that apparently if we put doors in the kill box, the AI will still prefer the open path. So I've gone ahead and set up a couple of wooden doors here. They're not very good, but if, if you're right in what they say with the AI obviously going through the open door, then it shouldn't matter anyway. These shouldn't come under attack. Just in case they ever do at some point, though, I will replace them with more durable walls. But for now, I figured it's just a better way to allow a colonist in and out without having to traipse through the kill box. So, we are a cult with pointy hats. Um, I can certainly see nothing wrong with that in the future. Now, we do need to finish off our cult sort of apparel, which is what Alchemia is doing now. Apparently, that gives us bonuses to, um, you know, our sermons, our worship, things like that increases cult-mindedness. We'll just double-check that quickly and see how we're doing. So, basically, everybody's all in favor of a cult besides Rhino. Rhino being one of our newest recruits, so naturally, you know, we sort of have to, uh... We have to work on them a little bit. It'll take some time, and they should hopefully come over to things. Now, one thing I have noticed, though, is, uh, look at this. Look with your special eyes. There is a very, very minor dip in the mountain there, which probably implies if we dig this block out, there's going to be an open area. Now, I'm hoping it's just going to be a very small, uh, maybe like an open little bit of, of garden, a little bit of uh, something isolated anyway, so that it's not compromising the base's defenses. Because if we open this up and it turns out to be all the way to the edge of the map, then we can also get ready from there and they'll go straight through the church and that could obviously be an issue. But I figured we might as well check it now before we really get into designing this base. Especially if it, you know, poses an obstacle later on when we're planning around, you know, it being something a little bit different. Oh, please be careful what you got. Oh, nice. Okay. That is the ideal scenario. We can fill it with solar panels. That's really, really good. All right, then. Um, Yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting some of that. We could also turn it into a temporary garden. Uh, maybe have a few different crops growing out there, which we can immediately haul into a kitchen. The other good thing is it allows for very efficient mountain living. Because one of the th issues with, obviously, living in a mountain is venting out the heat. Now, if we've got heaters somewhere deep in this mountain, obviously, that heat's got to go somewhere. So, we can just vent it straight out into this area here. We can also do pretty crazy things, eventually. Like build nuclear towers there. So, so cooling towers. Which would give us a shit ton of power, but they have to be built outside. That's the only stipulation there. So normally you have to defend them pretty well, but obviously if they're deep in a mountain, that won't matter too much. So that might be the ideal little sort of nuclear silo there. So that's kind of cool. Right. So this back here is where the research table is going to go. So I'll go ahead and install that now. And then we can turn that into a proper barracks in there. Uh, just so we've got some temporary sleeping shelter. Now with these, this sort of corridor here, we're going to put bedrooms down the, down the sort of length of it. So that... Uh, so that we've obviously got places for all of our colonists to live. Because right now they're all just living in this sort of main area. And it's not very good for their mood, funnily enough, to not have bedrooms. So, um, let's go ahead and... I do have a blueprint for bedroom here. Um, let me just take a look. Some of the items cannot be built with the current technology writer's table. That's absolutely fine. So we don't have writer's tables unlocked, which is uh, one of the things included in this, uh, included in this bedroom. The walls are made of wood. Now, it has been pointed out that I should be smoothing off the walls and the floors because they get bonuses. So, rather than doing that, what we'll do then is we'll place one of these down. Uh, why don't we put one right on the end here just to try and save as much space as possible. Saying that, we could actually fit quite a couple down here, couldn't we? We could actually run them parallel to here. Oh, one of you also said, why am I not mining out this steel? Uh, mainly because it would ruin the sort of entrance to the base. It would ruin the aesthetic. I mean, I can. What I will most likely do is prevent those walls being, you know, this kill box here being part of the, or these embrasures, I should say, um, being part of the church. 
What I will instead do is we'll mine out all of this area. Maybe even along to those those components as well. So we grab those. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then instead we'll do that sort of tapered design down here. So the enemy are tapered through a very small gap. And then we'll have this being our shooting zone. So we'll build sort of embrasures here instead. Then we've got a nice run up to the base. We can fill this room with, you know, guest, I don't know, beds, seats, training zones, whatever we want to do with it. And that way we've also got, you know, direct access to the church and we can replace that with more efficient walls. So I figured, figured that's not a bad idea. So that way we kill two birds with one stone, we'll get the steel, we'll get our components, and we can uh, try and make this a bit more appropriate. Eagle's not available. Oh shit, I remember, yeah. So we need to stop her being able to mount creatures because for some reason that ruins the, um, that ruins the, what is it called? Congregation? Whatever. Um, it, it ruins the sermons that we give. So this is looking okay. Let's see how they progress. Uh, now, I said I'm not going to use speed 4, and I stand by that. It makes it much harder to micromanage things. So we'll just play on speed 3 maximum so I can keep a close on it and make sure things don't obviously collapse. So what I'm doing with the bedroom, then, is we've set to mine out this area here. The furniture is already in place. Now, the only thing they're missing that, obviously, we don't have researched yet is the uh, the writer's table. Whoops, I've actually put that orientation the wrong way around there. Sorry. Uh, let's try and get that fixed very quickly. So uh, no, this way I can show it completely from fresh. So I've got my blueprint. Which has wooden walls and wooden floors, which obviously we don't want. We just want to smooth it over to save time and effort and resources. So we'll cancel the wooden floors. We'll cancel the wooden walls. We will also cancel uh, the very edge of the room as well from being mined out. Because that's what we want to smooth over. So we'll say mine out all of this. Cancel this initial uh, perimeter wall from being mined out. And that should be good. We'll smooth those over. That'll look pretty nice. That should give us all of our sort of default bedroom stuff that we actually need for it. And this is going to be sort of a main 3x3 corridor. We can fit a couple of bedrooms here to be a bit more, you know, space conscious. Because right now, I don't know why I've made this corridor so fucking big. Um, whoops. Yeah, I, I definitely should be smoothing things off rather than building marble walls. But it's a bit late now, seeing as I've apparently dug that five blocks thick. That's me being an idiot. Don't worry about it. Right. So we do that instead. But from now on, I will be smoothing off walls. It's a shame you can't, you know, replace this marble that you mine out. A little bit of a shame. Um, right. So that should be good. We'll get some bedrooms put in place. And when this is finished and smoothed off, I'll copy this blueprint instead. Oh, nice. We can actually build our candelabras as well with all that damn tallow wax I made last episode. How much of that have we got kicking around right now? 708. Well, those candles are going to last just about forever. So right now, we are watched by uh, Ur, the Dagon Ur, the Deep One, which is kind of cool. Um, though we are going to switch deity soon to the, uh, the Yellow King. As some of you have left some comments about that. It does seem to suit our colony perfectly. So, the Yellow King is supposedly from a different dimension or something like that. Probably similar to, I guess, the Elder Gods from, uh, from, uh, Warhammer 40k. The, the Chaos Gods, I should say. So, I feel like that's a, that's a pretty good analogy. So, he's trying to break into our universe, but apparently can't because of all the other, the other powerful deities and stuff. But he's from a technologically advanced universe, which is what we're trying to do with all of our genetic manipulation and cloning and stuff. So I figured, like, this dude suits the theme. Did you just build a roof over that? No, don't ever build a roof over this. We need this to be uncovered for our nuclear silo. All right. Um, heat wave. Shit. That's not ideal. Um, now the actual base itself is cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Good, good, good. Now... Mountains themselves are naturally resistant to, if you look there, it's it's only 20 degrees inside the very deep mountain. More naturally resistant to um, heat waves, things like that. Um, I wonder if it's better leaving that roof on there then. Doesn't matter too much. A vagabond named Pickles calls to you from nearby. He's being chased by lost soldiers from the 4th Infantry Division. So we'd have to fight two lost soldiers. He's 26. Um, now seeing as the 4th Infantry Division already have minus 90 opinion of us, this couldn't hurt. It's only two dudes as well. So we'll absolutely give that a go. Oh my god. Um, cancel Operation Massive Stonker for now. Let Pickles through the wall to start off with. Then, finish Operation Massive Stonker. There we go. Are they actually going to be corralled through the, through the killbox now then? Are we good? Well, let's give it a go. So let's actually get, um, you boys up front ready to shoot. You as well. Uh, Elring, you have an assault rifle, so you're also pretty good in this scenario. And Rhino himself with the, uh, with the old infantry armor there as well. This should be pretty great, I think. Let's find out if our kill box works. Right, so they are right there. Oh my god, they actually might be going straight through. This is good. Oh, it works. This is the best day of my life. Kill them. Kill them dead. Nice. One's down. And the other one's fleeing. Hey, look at that. That worked out really, really well. Now, what's this rifle like? Poor. Doesn't matter too much. Um, let's make sure that we have this body hauled out of there as well. Um, can you do me a favor and haul this body out? So they're all going into deep freeze, but 
Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. So we've got more genetic samples to work with there in the future when we want to actually grow our clone army. I feel like having lots of different samples is better than just uh, grabbing it all from the Everqueen. Now, naturally, the Everqueen is going to be our ultimate goal. Kind of like, um, kind of like the movie Logan, where they kept fabricating, you know, like creating clones of Wolverine. That's basically our goal with that. Um, except, you know, a little bit more genetic basis for our research probably couldn't hurt too much. Right, what is the plan then? So you're removing the roof. I mean, you want to get this area mined out as quickly as possible. So who can mine? Um, everybody. Pickles, what were you like? Let's go and take a look here. Um, Pickles, you are pretty terrible. Animals and crafting. Hooray. Um, genuinely quite terrible. Hates intellectual and hates artistic. Teetotaler, which is good because they won't take any sort of uh, drugs here. Greedy. Needs a really impressive bedroom. Uh, that's okay. We can we can fulfill that pretty easily with all the furniture mods we've got enabled right now, too. That's alright. That's not a terrible con. It's not a great con, but not a terrible one by any stretch of the imagination. Now, let's go ahead and actually give him some jobs here. So, bed rest is number one priority. Um, haul urgently. I'm actually going to take Igor and Yankee Yankee completely off of that. Um, definitely basic. Definitely rearm. Although, not that we're ever going to have any traps to rearm. Uh, refuel, if you want to, go for it. Handling animals is now your job, along with Noble S's, so hopefully they'll do those. Um, hunting, fishing, he's pretty good at. We'll set fishing to be his priority as well. Now, any sort of fabrication jobs, this dude is going to be the number one boy for. Uh, stone cutting as well does give experience, because one of the mods I've got re-enabling that feature, which was disabled in the last patch. Um, and obviously, plant cutting could be a high priority. If you want to grow some crops, by all means, feel free. That's fine. Um, oh, saying that, he's not bad at construction either, is he? You know what, I kind of like you mining too. I'm just going to set all those to four. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's absolutely fine. I'd rather him be delivering resources than building with them. Um, just because we've got better builders that would that would do it more effectively. So, that's great. We don't have a bed for you though, Pickles. In fact, we don't really have a bedroom for anyone right now. So, that's going to take some time. Speaking of which, he's, he's at work already. What a great guy. 5 a.m. and he's raring to go. Now, what I'm going to do to the to the, to the the named characters that I kind of betrayed by being very, very careless, you are going to be the reincarnation, seeing as you're also called Pickles, of uh, L, L. Kip, which is clearly Pickle backwards. That, that's the stars of the line. And we will also give ourselves a new Dave as well when we get ourselves a new colonist. This, this might be the new Dave here, Yuka. Just because it was a bit rude of me to turn their bones into walls in the church, although that's kind of cool, I would have preferred to give them a headstone. I feel like any named character definitely deserves a part of the uh, the Rimworld graveyard there. So that's consider this my apology for letting your characters die so quickly. Well, we knew this day would come. Basically, nothing has been achieved. We've built the candlesticks and we've basically finished building the marble walls. There, no bedrooms have been built, but we have a mechanoid raid. Let's take a look. It is a flame bot and a scullywag. Okay. Um, oh shit, and two little crawlers too. Right then, team. Um. Where is everyone right now? Get back inside the base. We do have one person outside. Oh, okay, it's 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 L it's L Kip. Right, let's get you home. Get into this kill box. Get get somewhere near the kill box. Now Eagle got food poisoning and actually lost her weapon. Where the hell is it? Um because apparently the cooking area is filthy, yet we have quite a few dedicated cleaners, so I'm not quite sure why it's still a shit tip like that. I need to uh, keep an eye on their jobs, make sure they're doing things effectively. Right. Go and get the OC defense pistol. You've got a gun. You can use Sonic Blast. That I don't think that does damage. One of you said that they can fight, but that only does like a little bit of a like a knockback. Might be useful, I suppose. So, um, Noblesse has a gun. Elring has an assault rifle. Rhino has a rifle. You might as well come and get the shotgun because I feel like that's also kind of useful. Okay, team. This is where the men become boys, and the boys become um, bigger, bigger men. I don't know where I was going with that. I think I think I might have got the expression wrong there. Okay, team. Uh, you guys stand there. Now, these flamers are a pain in the ass. Because if they're too close, we're going to get cooked. Ideally, we need to make this kill box bigger. That's just the truth of it. Um, I might expand it down this way a little bit more later on. For now, it works fine. But obviously, they can get within shooting range, which is not ideal. Um, so, you're going to be pushing them back. Eagle Throog has a weapon. You need to come back down here. And who else just got armed? Right. L. Kip. Get you down here as well, my friend. Okay, where are they? Um, where are they, though? Am I, am I blind? Well, where are these? Oh, hang on. There's one. Okay, we've got the flame pot on its way. They're just taking freaking ages to get here, apparently. Breacher is drafted. Yeah, no shit. Oh, hang on. Oh, they're going through that. The little crawlers are there. And the scullywag is there as well. Okay. 
Come on, kill him dead. Yes, there's one down. That's pretty good. Three components. Oh, this killbox is working pretty well. Nice. Okay. I might remove the sandbags because I feel like they are soaking up um, some cover there. Now, I think if we remove that one, we should be okay. The rest will obviously force them to move around the corner. Now, we're just waiting on this last boy as well, the flame bot. Now, this is probably going to be the most dangerous one because it can hit our colonists from the range it's at. Now, how much health does it have? Hard to say. It'd be nice if they had a health bar or something like that, eh? Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be... It's not like the uh, the centipedes that obviously have a hundred different body parts. These thi I think this one might die pretty quickly. Nice. Okay, that was much less of a concern than I thought it would be. When I saw mechanoids, I assumed we were going to get, like, scythers and centipedes. But I've got the additional mechanoids mod just to add some flavor to it. A uh, little bit disappointing, actually. You've let me down, mechanoids. You know, it's starting to feel like a proper cult now. We've, I think we've actually done it. We're still worshipping the wrong god, temporarily. Uh, but we will sort that out in a minute. What about you? Can you not... Forbidden? Oh, because the Forbidden Knowledge Center is forbidden, right? So we actually can't reinstall it. So if we wanted to, we'd have to change the research over to... Um, something where it won't auto forbid. So like, I don't know, probe occult deities temporarily. We want to do that one anyway until we get the, uh, the yellow king as our deity. Wow. Okay. I never really thought about that. So in theory, he's now going to be able to move. Hey, uh, anyone? Igor? Carrying simple meal. Yeah, I'll let you eat that first. Oh, no. Noble has done it. Nice. Okay. Igor's going to cook some meals. L, sit. What are you doing that isn't cleaning? Taking rice? Yeah, I want you to clean though. Um, let me check his, check his work here. Um, Okay, he's allowed to fish. He's allowed to plant her. Why are you not cleaning? Nothing else falls below. Oh, because he's training the animals. That's why he's getting the rice. Um, I'm going to set animals then to second priority. Uh, same with handle there. Just because I feel like having a clean kitchen so we don't all get food poisoning is a little bit more important. Right. Refueling wood fire generator. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. We've got plenty of plants still to cut down. I'll cancel those temporarily. Um, I only wanted some more wood to actually stock up for the generator a bit. Right, is he actually going to start cleaning now? There we go. Right, that explains it. I forgot that we had so many tamed animals, obviously, for the giddy up mod there. Right. Um, I need you to actually finish cleaning, though. Nice. Uh, do you want to just finish that off as well? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Sorry, they've got to go and uh, got to go and have their sermon, the daily sermon. Look at this cult, though. This is so good. All wearing the little cultist gear, led by Eagle Throog with their pointy, pointy hats. At least they're not white. Oh, because this one's got... Bit of a white pointy hat. Can we change the color scheme on that one? All right, let's get this one reinstalled over to the uh, to the research table as well. And then we'll actually have these walls smoothed off at some stage. You know, I want to finish the bedroom so we do absolutely anything else. Unbound to the proper order of the cosmos, the stars themselves seem to sting our eyes with hateful scorn. Now, I think one of you said don't hold sermons during this time and don't offer any... Um, don't make any offerings or any sacrifices. So we're going to go ahead and cancel those. Seeing as we're worshipping Dagon anyway, and I'm not really too bothered about Dagon, um, probably sort of a win-win there, just to uh, just to forget about that for a while. Hey, can you go ahead and finish digging out the one bedroom that we've actually started, pal? Thank you. All right, I'm going to focus down these bedrooms, and I'll reassign some jobs to actually get them working on this as soon as possible. And uh, hopefully, our colonists will be a little bit happier when they've got rooms to themselves. Well, shit, that took no time at all. We got ourselves yet another raid. The gr a group of tribespeople from the White Bramble Confederacy. So, uh, are oh, they getting sappers to turn around? That's a little bit annoying. Right, I wasn't expecting sappers this early on, especially as we still obviously have that hole in the wall there. Right. Um, we might actually have to go and meet them. How many sappers have they got exactly? Um, it says that they're sappers, doesn't it? Normally, I thought it said on their character that they are sappers. Okay, never mind then. Tender, tender. Keeper, tender. Healer. Maybe it's the elephant. No, nope, healer. I guess not. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on them. Um, I'm kind of interested in what they're going to try and dig through. Seeing as the only one block thick wall we've got is obviously Operation Massive Stonker. So if they want to tunnel through that, it's more than welcome to. Oh, no, they're going to go through the freaking mountain. Why not? Oh, that's fine. Take your time. You know what? We should get the drop on them here while they're digging through here. Just to absolutely shred them. That would be so good. Holy shit. Um, right, team. Let's do it. I like this idea. This is this is pretty fucked up. Oh shit, we're playing on Speed 4. So I'm using a keyboard shortcut mod, and that's immediately defaulting it back to Speed 4. Speed 4 is okay, as long as I'm careful with it. Um, I'm not going to do what we did last series and just go nuts with it. Right, so basically, we're just going to set up a bit of a firing squad here, and uh, they're going to get absolutely shredded. Uh, do you want to just go here? You go here. 
This is, this is going to be an absolute massacre. I love it. Right. They're almost through. Um, who is not contributing to the team? Are they all here? Okay. Rhino's taking his time to get here. Nice. Here they come. There's one dead. Two. Oh, come on. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, right. Now we want to use this guy's sonic blast. It's time to recharge. Oh, shit. Didn't realize it took time. Oh, God. The elephant. Okay. Let's back off a bit. Let's run a gun team. Run a gun team. Run a gun team. I mean, they are fleeing. Uh, we've just got to get to our... Oh, fuck this elephant. I didn't realize the elephant would stay around and attack us. We haven't had this happen before. Um, as in, we haven't... Normally, their animals flee when we've uh, when we've killed off the rider. I guess they're just angered. But yeah, fleeing in panic. Why are you still attacking? Hey, fuck off. This damn elephant. Hey, piss off. Goddamn elephants every single fucking time. My lord. Fleeing in terror, it says. Attacking our colonists. That's funny. I thought flee generally meant that they'd flee. Okay, who's at risk of dying? Is anybody risk of dying immediately? Death in 12 hours, so we can def get you back to grave. Death, death in 7 hours. Death in 3. Oh, shit. Um, no immediate danger. So, Noble S needs treating here and now. My god, every time. <laughs> Fucking elephants. Right, um. Let's wipe down a sleeping spot here. Uh, we want to set that for medical, don't we? And then... Who else was it? Was it Rhino? Yeah, got stabbed by us. Six hours for you, so you can get back to base quite he easily, I think. Um, yeah, Pickle. Pickle, take two. You are also going to need a sleeping spot, my friend. I don't know why they went through there of all places. The sappers seemed very, very odd. That, that didn't seem right to me at all. Right, you, I want you to rescue Noble S. Um, Igor is down as well, and she's shit. Okay, Elring is our other... Is our other tender here. So let's go and rescue you. Our other, uh... Or the doctor, I should say. So that is medical. Right, who else have we got nearby? Yankee Nanky, I need you to rescue Pickle. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to play this on slow speed. What about Rhino? Rhino? Rhino was like 12 hours, right? So it should be okay. Right, get them inside. Let's get them treated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. L-Ring, I need you to prioritize... Already tending? Oh, she's going back to get medicine. Shit. All right, then. So what we'll do is I think the way it works from what you guys were telling me is the best way to do it is say... Um, no medicine, and no medicine, and then tend to Eagle. There we go. Okay, we're good. Right, now what we actually want to do is tend to you first, because you're more at risk of dying. Right. Okay, just get that tended as quickly as possible. There we go. 19 hours, and that should be you done. Tend to Pickle. Where are you going? Oh, shit. Okay, yep. Yeah. Sorry, got to cancel that one on you as well. Right, um, hey, Elring, stop. Come back and tend to Pickle. Okay, we should be fine then. So that should be everyone good to go. Now what we could do is we could just deconstruct that spot so somebody will leave the saber or she'll walk back by herself apparently seeing as she can now. Um, Eagle through, you okay? No immediate danger. Should be able to walk by herself as well. Right, how are you doing? You're fine. This is good. Right, dismantle that. Dismantle that. Um, allow all. Can we get someone to come rescue these people? Hello? Did you seriously haul a body? No, no, no. Look, you need to rescue Rhino. Jesus, how's Rhino doing? Death in seven hours. It should be okay. Right, um, these two will heal, but they're obviously just going to flail on the floor for a while. So you come and rescue Eagle Throog, who's the important one. You come rescue El Kip. Oh, we should be good. I think we're fine at this point. No one's at any risk of dying immediately. Um, how's Rhino doing? Needs health. Uh, death in six hours. Right, he's being tended to with uh, the highest level of medicine. Seems appropriate. Or not, apparently. Oh my god, a mental breakdown now? You fuck. Um, we have no other good doctor. Shit. Why would you br have a breakdown now, you prick? Okay, uh, Noble S, you are now our new field doctor. Congratulations, have a promotion. Oh my god, you're so bad. Zero out of 20, really? Uh, two out of 20. I, I can't believe you had a mental breakdown now of all times. Might have to be Yankee Danky. Eagle, when can you walk? Uh, no immediate danger, moving none because of a brain injury. Right, okay. So, um... You're gonna have to tend to Rhino the Elephant then. Even though you've got shit doctor stat, with the good medicine, we should be okay. Death in 12 hours, death in 11 hours. We should be all right. And now, I wouldn't be surprised to get an infection. But by that point, hopefully we'll have a better doctor anyway. Man, that raid actually did quite a number on us. Wasn't expecting the elephant to constantly fight, especially as it was flagged as fleeing. But I guess that's just the game. All right, fair enough. Igor, Igor, my good friend, you're back. You're up on your feet and ready to go. Thank God. All right. Well, I was worried then for a second. Who have we got? We've got Noble. That apparently can't do anything. Uh, well, that's not good. A permanent brain injury, maybe? Um, oh, her arm's been shot off. 
Well, that's inconvenient. Oh, and her right arm has been shot off as well. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, Yuka. I need to borrow an arm, if you don't mind. Uh, harvest. Right arm? I'll assume you're right-handed. We'll borrow your arm, if you don't mind. Right. Um. Who wants to operate? L-Ring, I need you to prioritize... Uh, oh, wait. Eagle's doing it? Why is Eagle doing it? Why is... Oh, Eagle's the warden. Um, doesn't matter too much then. So, L-Ring, you can do that. Prioritize getting this arm so we can get Noble S. Uh, it's better to have, if we end up recruiting this person, it'd be better to have one person with an arm, or two people with one arm than one person with no arms. Because that way they can still, uh, you know, delegate work somewhat. All right, there we go. There's a fresh arm. Now, we need to go to you. We need to go health, add bill, install arm. Requires herbal medicine or better. Oh, right, yeah. Now, we've got to remember, one thing I have forgotten to do here, we've got to remember to put back their, what is it, overview? Yeah, to put back everybody's medicine to what it should be, um, just in case they get infections or obviously they're injured again in the future. Right, there we go. Now, you, uh, how do I prioritize your operation? Just prioritize, gonna prioritize incapable of manipulation. What? Incapable of lying in bed. This is what I'm hearing right now. Uh, there we go, resting, right. So now, L-Ring, when you're quite ready, my friend, I need you to operate and install this arm. And this is where it all fucks up when we lose the arm. Go on, game, I dare you. I dare you. We're good. Okay, so we've got two people with one arm, but that's better than, like I said, one person with no arms and one other relatively useless individual. Um, Pickle's gonna have a mental breakdown, why? Ravenously hungry, intense pain. That is absolutely fair. Um, you might as well prioritize feeding Pickle then. Before... How long till you can get back up on your feet? Um, stabbed in both... Oh, it's in an arm. And, oh, right. So, so it's a leg and a foot that's damaged. That's a little bit of a shame. Um, so 18 out of 30, though. So that's not too bad. Go, Frenzy. Igor has experienced an inspiration. She'll move faster for the next eight days. That's incredible. That's actually a genuinely really good buff. So what I've done is I've taken out all of the non-important furniture, the non-essential furniture from the bedrooms here, and we're going to try and get this sorted out. Um, honestly, I'd rather have the bedrooms done than, than this shit, so don't worry about this. Let's get these bedrooms finished before we waste time doing absolutely anything else. So when this is mined out, we want to add two more blocks to this. Then with the rest of it, we're going to smooth over. Um, no, can you just finish that one block so I can at least plan it out for the future? Right, hang on. Yankee Danky. Uh, Yankee. On everything but him. Right, there we go. Finish that one off. Off you go, my friend. And then we go, uh, smooth. What is that? Waters, maybe? Yeah, smooth surface. Smooth everything here. And that should be one bedroom blueprint I can save. And then we can clone it along. And then I'll hopefully just build it automatically without too much messing around. You know, they'll just mine it out and put down the bedroom. A prison break. Good. Maybe we should take that other arm while we're at it and, and genuinely just get rid of this individual. Um, you don't seem particularly useful to me. So, uh, you two are going to stand there, guns in hand, and kill them dead. You're actually just going to glow them to death. Right, stand either side of the pillar. Just open the door. Honestly, just, just let them come through. Let them come. Right, back off. Back off, back off. There we go. Uh, no, actually just... I was going to say kill her dead, but we could at least take her arm and give it to uh, Noble S as well there. And anything else. Does anybody need anything while we're down at the shops? Um, what do you need? You need a new brain. That's unfortunate. I can't really much to help you with that one. You need an eye. So let me make a note. Uh, I'm going to make a list here of things we need. So you need one eye. Uh, we need... You need a new arm and a leg, but that's not essential. I'm going to do uh, an essentialist and non-essential. So you need a leg and an arm. Although, the obviously, the essential arm is going to come before you. Uh, Alchemia, you need a thumb. A single thumb. Fair enough. That's going to go on the low priority tab. Um, right. And then Eagle Throog doesn't need anything. Yankee Danky is irrelevant. Uh, you need an eye and an arm, both of which are missing. Okay. So that's, that's definitely more important. So eye, arm... So we're missing two eyes across the whole colony. Well, that's pretty convenient, seeing as people have two eyes. Um, okay, that's good then. That's all we need. You also need an eye, which I've got on the list there. So we take both eyes. We take an arm, a leg, and a thumb. <laughs> um, although, if we've taken both arms, probably not going to find a thumb. All right, then. Let's start. So we have going to nip out here one... Uh, oh, apparently she was in spied surgery as well, so that worked out pretty well. We've stolen an eyeball. That's good. Now, the other eye we've apparently already taken, which is a little bit annoying. So now we've got an eyeless uh, prisoner. Obviously, no use to us whatsoever. So patch that one up. We're going to take the left arm. So that's going to be Noblesse back up to full health there, which is great. Um, we also need this leg. We've got to wait for it to heal first, unfortunately, which is going to take forever. Shit. Um... Yeah, genuinely a little bit annoying. Now, this is obviously going to be a mood debuff to everybody, but they're getting things out of it, so they can't complain too much. Why don't we take um, a spare kidney, seeing as you've got one spare. 
We'll take your ears as well. Uh, we'll take a nose. Uh, we'll take a jaw. Now, we can only take a foot for now, but hopefully it'll heal up before we get to the end of this list. Um, we'll take the heart to actually finish her off because that's way more useful than everything else we've got here. Nice. And Noblesse is back up to 100% health. There you go. You are more than welcome. Thank you to Organ Donor Yuka for your kind generosity in keeping the colony going. Um, whereas elephants are taking our organs, you are providing fresh ones. We can also turn this into a temporary barrack as well uh, when this person is dead. So that works out pretty well. Um, what have we got to take? We've got to take an ear, a nose, and a jaw. Then we are good. You know what? Considering we're harvesting someone's organs, everybody seems fairly happy. They're all in the green. Besides Pickle, who is, uh, still in searing amounts of pain. And also Jealous, because he doesn't have a good bedroom. We could swap him with Igor, I suppose. I mean, because Igor won't complain, whereas this guy will. So I'm going to go ahead and say this belongs to Igor. Um, this belongs to Pickle, so that should hopefully keep him... No, 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 no. Pickle. Right, or El Kip, as some people know him. What just happened there? Why did you try and kick down the door? Is that necessary? What? Why did you do that? <laughs> right, are you happy now that you've got a decent room? Um, yeah, definitely seems like that debuff is gone, which is nice, because it's going to keep everybody on board now, even though we're still doing, you know, a massive amount of very immoral organ harvesting. Thank you for watching. We will leave it here for today. Um, I feel like we didn't make any progress at all. <laughs> I feel like we made absolutely zero progress. Uh, besides, you know, actually finishing off our bedroom for the future. That's fine. Next episode, we will make progress, though, because I've got a blueprint that I can easily copy down into the, uh, into the base here and expedite the process of the bedroom a little bit. Would you guys prefer it if I set a goal and actually tried to stick to it per episode and cut out all the, uh, non-important stuff? Or would you prefer being able to see all the little minor things happening, like, obviously, the surgeries and the raids and things like that? You'll have to let me know with your, with your feedback for how you like that. Shout out to my top tier insane level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris. Sorry, by the way, before I get into this too much, I will say that I am changing the way this is presented in the future. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more, you know, entertaining rather than me just reading off a list of names. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Jocelyn Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spired C, James Ogilvy, sorry, my apologies, Escape, Jackson Whitman, Tyler Birch, for their insane tier levels of support. Thank you very much. You are genuinely keeping the channel alive, given the, the <coughs> revenue situation. And a big shout out to, to Nathaniel Lemberg, Brandon Matonia, Necro Frillin, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly, Nick, Noblesse, Quet Large Cleaves, Arriven, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Wyland Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, Duncony217, Jordan Campbell, Asro, Sidini, Josephia, and Chris. Thank you. If you guys don't have your names in the series, let me know and I will add them to the series list. Feel free to get in touch with me over on uh, Discord. Now, I am going to be updating the Patreon come November. Um... Just basically rewriting it, so now with everything I've learned and what I'm going to offer you guys instead. And obviously RimWorld will be one of those things added to the rewards list as well. So I will see you guys then.